In this tutorial, I want to show you the brand new brushes that are available in Photoshop CS5. For painters and illustrators, uh, Photoshop has for a while been lacking a bit in terms of setting up some more realistic brushes, but now in CS5 you've got all that available using the bristle brushes. So I'm going to select my brush tool, I'm going to open up my brush panel here, let's get it out here. Now you see you have all of these usual brushes, but then you see here in the middle you've got some just something different. And these are all bristle brushes and that these emulate the shape that you can see here. So if I start for example with this one here, this is gonna emulate the normal paint here. So it's got some bristle qualities, it's a round point, and you have the settings here for the different bristles. So if I now go ahead and paint here, you can always see here, now because I'm using a, a pressure sensitive tablet, if I'm not, if I'm just moving my mouse, you see that it's very standstill and, and it's not going to affect you that much. Let's undo that. But if I'm using my tablet, you can see here how it moves. As I move, as I lay my pen almost flat to the surface here, you can see how it's going to be affected like this, I'm doing a very thick stroke now. If I get it right up, you see how it affects. And you can also see how, pretty much how hard I'm pushing this. So, as you can see here, this is one way of, of painting with a tablet. And you see exactly how I move this. So let's go ahead and whoops, fill this with white again, start blank. And you see we've got a couple of these different brushes here. And if I want, I can always enable opacity to be based on how how hard I I move my brush or how hard I pr press it. So if I want, I can always go say with this brush here, I can can begin to paint stronger strokes as I as I go over it, and I can just paint very lightly. And by doing this, I can move to whichever brushes I want and all of these can complement each other so you can start out say if you want let's take another color let's take a blue here if you want you can make a kind of an, an ocean here by just doing some real light strokes here first just, just do a couple over here and then we can go ahead go with some smaller like this we get. Now I'm not a painter, I should probably admit that from the start, but I can even I can get some some fairly good results using some of these brushes here. Just because I select a brush that works for me. So let's say I try this one here, which gives another type of brush stroke. So let's go ahead and add let's add a beach. So let's do a a sand color here. Probably not the best sand color ever, but it's a sand color, hopefully. Now you should do these, this on, on different layers. Uh, I'm well aware of that. I'm just doing a quick demo here. Just to show you how this could potentially look. Like this. It's just one way of painting here. It's probably not close to a beach though, but let's almost more of some mountains here. And then if I want, I can, let's say, what I want, or probably maybe I want a tree. Now I'm not a good tree drawer, but let's see what I can do. Now you can always start to line out a tree here. Now this is probably going to be a very large tree. Now you can all as you can see, the the bristles here actually help my bad drawings look fairly good. I mean, they're not they're not suddenly brilliant by any means. They do need some work, but it works. Let's see if I can do some kind of. Yep, I probably can. Let's do some brownish. So this is a water living tree. It grows from the water and out. Let's see if this is a fairly good brown. Let's make it brownish. 
Let's see, probably this brush again. I can probably... So depending on how, how you're, you draw and how you draw your tree, this is one way of, of, of doing it. Using the bristle, brus bristle brushes. Now if I want, I can finish off here. Let's do a, a kind of soft blue here for this guy. I can just finish this off. Now I've probably made more of a child drawing here. As I said, I'm not very good with with drawing, but I still did this fairly quickly and it it looks as though I hand painted it and had I done this in in multiple layers here, I, I probably would have had much better luck here. Uh, in, in, in doing this, making it look more realistic. But still I'm able to produce this painting inside of Photoshop CS5 using brushes and nothing less. And if I'd had a bit more talent here, or known what to draw, I probably could have made a much better result than I ever <laughs> could have done with hand, and a result that I've never been able to do before in Photoshop 